Hey guys, it's Dinner Over VHA here bringing you a new video. So to give you a little background on where this video is coming from, I did some work for a buddy of mine recently uh, on his home automation setup. Uh, he came to me and said he wanted to uh, have his lights come on randomly at night uh, for random amounts of time. And I thought, well, this is kind of an interesting setup, but I'll see what I can do and uh, went through Home Assistant and just couldn't come up with a good solution on uh, coming up with a random number of times as well as a random amount of time that those lights would come on. So then I started searching the web and uh, Home Assistant community forums and stuff like that and came across the Node Red Presence Faker. And it is amazing. It is really super cool. I've never seen anything like it. So I thought it would be really cool to show you guys uh, what you can do with it and how you might set it up uh, in your home. Here we go. So as I said, it's called the Node Red Presence Faker, uh, and it basically will give you the ability to uh, turn your lights on X amount of times uh, for X amount of time. Uh, so it's pretty cool. So it's really good for vacation setups. Uh, so maybe you want to uh, go on vacation, you're not going to be home, but you don't want people to know that you're necessarily not at home. So you'll create this presence faker uh, that will make it seem like you're there with lights coming on randomly uh, throughout the night. Here we go. All right, so let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to uh, cover in this video. Uh, for starters, we will install the module, the presence faker module uh, in Node Red. Once we have it installed, then we are ready to create an input Boolean that we're going to use for our vacation mode. We'll do that in Home Assistant. Once we have that uh, created, we're ready to jump back over to Node Red and we'll go ahead and build out the automation. And lastly, um, once we have it built out, I'll just kind of show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. All right, so we are ready to install the module in Node Red. So hit the menu up in the top. We're gonna to go down to manage palette. Click on the install tab. And then we're going to search for presence faker. There it is. It's that first one, node-red-contrib-presence-faker. We'll hit install. And there it is, now it's installed. If you scroll down here, down to the bottom, you'll see there it is, Presence Faker under Smart Home, so we're ready to go. We'll drag it over here just so you can look at it. Um, there's kind of the properties or the configuration for this particular module. Um, you have your on times, uh, it's the minimum and maximum of the number of times that it's going to turn on. And then you have your on minimum and maximum for the duration. And again, that's how long it's going to come on. Other than that, it's just how else you're going to configure it. So uh, for your payload and your topic and whatnot. The one thing you want to make sure that you do check, and I'll show this again in a minute, is uh, you want to set it to enable down there when the flow starts. But nonetheless, let's jump on to the next step. We're going to create that input Boolean. All right, so we're gonna be using an input Boolean to just kind of manage our vacation mode 
Um, so basically we will uh, have an input Boolean. We're going to call it vacation mode and we'll just be able to toggle that on and off. Uh, so here I am in the file editor. We're going to uh, open up our input boolean.yaml file. We'll just add another entry down here. I'm going to call it vacation. And really, that's all we need. I think the default for input booleans is set to uh, false or off. So basically, if you start Home Assistant up, initially that input boolean will not be turned on, which is kind of what we want. But once we have it created, then we can jump over to uh, the server controls under configuration and just kind of reload input booleans. And that should take care of that. We don't have to restart all of Home Assistant. Uh, that's all we'll have to do and it should be ready to go. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step and we'll build out the uh, automation in Node-RED. All right, so here we are in Node-RED. We're going to start with a uh, event state module. This will allow us to monitor that input Boolean state. Uh, so for the entity ID, it's going to be input underscore Boolean dot vacation. And we'll say if state is true for five seconds. So if for some reason you flip it on, uh, if you turn it off right away, right after you turn it on, then it should not trigger this automation. Other than that, we'll hit done. And then now we're ready to add in the presence faker module. And we'll just make that connection there. Uh, if true, it will connect to the presence faker. We'll call this randomly turn on lights. So my plan is I want my lights to come on between nine and midnight. This is really just a test just to kind of show you how it works. Um, you can set up whatever time you want, obviously. Uh, how many times do I want it to come on? Uh, at least five times that at night, but maybe as much as 15 times. So I'm good anywhere between there should work just fine. And then for our duration, we're going to say a minimum of, of three minutes with a, a max duration of 10 minutes. All right, so for the on and off payload, it's going to be turn underscore on and turn underscore off. And then for our on and off topics, we're just going to call the switch or, or light or whatever entity that you want to turn on and off. Uh, so for me, mine's called switch.outside underscore floods. That's my floodlights that are in the front of my house. Um, so I'm gonna put that under the on topic and off topic. And then lastly, like I said, you want to go down to where it says enable and set it to when the flow starts up. Once we do that, we'll hit done. And so we have all that there. The only other thing we need is a call service entity. So we'll put that in here. We'll make the connection between the presence faker and this call service entity. I'm just going to call it outside floodlights because uh, that's basically what it's going to be doing is turning those lights on. Uh, for the domain, it'll be home assistant. Uh, service will be payload because it will pull that from the presence faker module and the entity ID will be topic. And again, it's going to pull that from that presence faker module. The only other thing you need to do is under the data, you need to put uh, open bracket, close bracket. Once we have that in there, we'll go ahead and say done. And now we can uh, deploy that. And 
and we're ready to go. At this point, we would jump over to um, Home Assistant and basically enable that uh, input Boolean vacation mode so that it will trigger this automation uh, starting at nine o'clock, which is what the time was for that uh, presence faker. And if we jump back over to Node Red here, as you can see, uh, vacation mode, it does say that it's turned on and it says that next cycle will be at nine o'clock, uh, just like we uh, set it up to be. Let's move on to the last step and we'll kind of see it in action. We had to wait for uh, nine o'clock to come around for it to start that automation and it was going to run all the way to midnight. Uh, so just kind of show you what that looks like um, in the history. The following day, I pulled up my history for my outside lights. And as you can see how many different times it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve times uh, roughly that it came on at different intervals. Uh, between nine and midnight. So it works. Pretty cool, huh? So this is a neat little setup that you can do, uh, like I said, for a, a vacation mode automation when you're not at home, just to kind of keep burglars or whatever away, uh, thinking that you're probably still home, even though you may not be there. But that's the end of the video, guys. Pretty nice uh, little feature. You may have already seen it, but if not, this is what it looks like. If you have questions, hit me up in the comments and I'll try to respond uh, as, I, as they roll in. As always, I want to thank everybody for donating to my Buy Me A Coffee link. Every little bit helps. If you haven't had a chance, jump over to my spring merchandise page and check out all the Burns Home Automation merchandise. And if you're looking for VPN service, check out IP Vanish. I'll have the link in the description below. Jump over to their site and see what deals they're currently running. And if you're interested in buying and selling stock, check out my link below for Robinhood. If you sign up through that link below, you and I both will get a free share of stock. It's a win-win for both of us. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.